It is a busy Friday night in downtown Orlando, but some businesses were forced to close up shop. Thanks for joining us on this Friday evening. I'm Luann Sorrell. And I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. This is all because of scaffolding that's been deemed unstable for 48 hours now. We're talking about Orange Avenue from Central down to Jackson. Parts of Church Street and Pine Street are also shut down for both cars and pedestrians. Fox 35's Patrick Perez is live in downtown Orlando. And Patrick, this is causing plenty of headaches, not just for businesses, but their customers as well. Yeah, well, Lisa, all night long, we watched as customers had to turn around after realizing that they could not access the bar or the restaurant that they wanted to. Let me show you what this scaffolding situation looks like right now. It's a little hard to see because it's dark, but it's where that tan building is. And right below, you can see Orlando police is standing by just in case someone decides to cross these barricades. So just before 8 o'clock tonight, we were there as crews removed a gate to allow customers to enter three venues on South Orange. The city allowed them to reopen today, but it took a bit of time for that gate to be removed. One of the workers told me off camera this whole situation could not have come at a worse time, especially going into the weekend. According to the city, at least 11 businesses remain closed, and that includes One Up Orlando, High Tea, and Cahoots Video Game Bar. It's definitely causing a lot of confusion for customers. I was trying to walk down. Me and my friends trying to get something to eat, and you know, like they saw, they told us to go around. <laughs> they told us to go around and just like go this way, go through this way. And they told us that we have to walk around or go the other way to the bar that we're trying to go to. But then we found out that the bar is actually closed, so I guess we'll find something else to do. I'm sure the people around here are very upset about it. Their businesses are hurting. Fix the scaffolding. The construction contractor says they discovered issues with the stability of the scaffolding on Wednesday, and since then they have been trying to stabilize it. They're currently working on a deconstruction plan, and tonight the city of Orlando warned that these closures will remain through the weekend and likely into next week. So keep this in mind if you have any plans visiting downtown Orlando this weekend. We're live in downtown Orlando tonight. I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News.